Okay, today I'd like to talk about performance art as a site to experience conflict and perhaps, uh, hopefully, uh, a site to also transform it. Okay, um, here the idea of uh, experience is prompted by, um, by the affect of a performance, like in, in terms, I will uh, explicate it further in my talk. Uh, both, side of the, both on the side of the performer and the side of the audience. Um, following um, feminist philosopher, Julia Kristeva, as affirmation, um, she states, only an experience can save us. Uh, in her interview published in the catalog of a, 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 a very important um, exhibition called The Rites of Passages, uh, Art in the 20th Century, 21st Century, Art Towards the 21st Century. Um, I, am, I aim to consider the idea of experience and whether it can save us or not, uh, and as a lens to be able to evaluate the, desire, the individual's desire to be saved from, um, especially as far as the conflicts uh, in the everyday life and the geopolitical uh, most of the time. So, um, I intend to show works from artists who deal with the idea of conflict, whether in their, li in their own like everyday lives, in their histories, in their memories, or, um, or uh, artists who deal with the idea of conflict, like it could be social conflicts, racial conflicts, political conflicts, or uh, sexual conflicts, and, uh, or gender uh, conflicts. Uh, what I would especially like to consider is the need to be saved uh, by an experience, uh, as all these artists have been creating their work, life's work, towards the idea of experience, towards the idea of resolving some sort of conflict in their lives. Uh, at some, you know, in my... Uh, as a performance artist and as a um, teacher at the same time, where both of my work like uh, feeds one another, I s kind of seem to lost my belief in art many times. And after I lost it, I always find it back. For instance, when I uh, I remember one time, like I I was totally, you know, like all the conflicts in the world and the, you know, 9-11 happened at that time. And then I saw a work by Kutlu Ataman and it just refreshed my belief in art. And art can save uh, someone, but not the kind of saving that we are looking for because art work can only uh, suggest or at least present an experience for us as an audience for you as an audience, can uh, only uh, give a way for an experience for us to be able to uh, become aware of our own bodies, our own selves. The, the major, um, I see, a, I see a, you know, like I see a relation between performance art as a site of experiencing the contact between um, audience and performer because performance art is a is acts as like as if it's a channel that bounds the individual the audience and the performer together and in the, in the works like Christian Boltanski although it's not a performance um, but it has performative aspects of the conflict which I will come back to it or Marx Ernst even Picasso's Guernica which I will refer back and forth later but uh, I'd like to present one artist, one a very uh, interesting artist of the performance art or action art, who um, told us only one story from the beginning of his artistic career, his famous plane crash, which, uh, and then he started using these materials like the fat chair or the 
uh, felt with felt and fat and sometimes honey. Uh, or he tried to showcase these packs, which is a rescue kit, uh, because of his, you know, like uh, the, the, the mythical plane crash where the um, local people, after the plane, his plane crash in World War I, where he was a Stuka pilot, the local people uh, saved him, nursed him back to life. He was almost dead. So he told, he, he kept telling these, uh, this story of his life and how he was saved and how he was, try, how he was trying to give that kind of love, protection and care to the audience. And in this work, Joseph Boyce is like, how to explain paintings to a dead hare uh, is a, an interesting um, performance art piece or action art piece because uh, not only because it is like iconic and you know like Joseph Boyce's piece, but he is trying to animate the dead, which is the animal, through his body, which he, as he was animated through love, protection, and care by the local people. As he was telling about the paintings around him, uh, art historical paintings, paintings that are like um, not well known, but uh, some carry some sort of value in so far as art is considered to the dead animal just to revive him. Of course, he cannot bring a corpse back to life, but he was trying to show the ex his experience to the audience uh, where the audience wasn't even allowed in the room. So um, another artist is uh, working in a similar fashion, a very important female artist of, performance artist of the century actually, Marina Abramovic Ritimo. This is one of uh, her earlier performances. But I'm going to talk about uh, his, uh, her, sorry, uh, uh, Balkan Baroque performance because she, it is a performance where she had um, bought an individual conflict uh, by being a you know, like Yugoslavian-born female artist, uh, now renowned throughout the world, but also uh, she was invited by the uh, Montenegrin minister, uh, cultural minister, and then rudely uninvited when she presented her performance, which was made out of like 50, 150 big cow bones, uh, and uh, her, herself, and performance was all about cleaning the bones with just one bucket of water and a brush. And she, for uh, three days, she, clan she cleaned the, the surface of the bones while she was weeping and um, singing songs of her motherland, actually. She was, in a way, trying to revive her memories back from her motherland, and she was trying to confront the people of uh, ex-Yugoslavia by the time and trying to unify, unify and uh, presenting a, a set or a stage for being allowed to mourn what she had lost or how the people were lost li their lives, lost their uh, belongings and homes and sometimes livelihood. And this is another weave of her uh, performance. Uh, historically speaking, this kind of like working with the idea of a dead animal or animal bones, of course I am not trying to present this as an uh, interesting idea, but nobody of course asked the dead rabbit, dead bunny to be you know, part of the art project. Or, but there is this initiation of becoming one with the animal, returning to our animalistic self is a, is a singular and most... Um, uh, basis, fundamental experiences, many of the performance art pieces. I still am t thinking through it. I mean, why is it so uh, interesting to show a dead body of an animal? But at the same time, artists shows the, not only the life, the performance artist uh, shows not only uh, the life in themselves, but also the death in themselves. How uh, the death and the uh, uh, life is closed by, um, not only by proximity or by extension or by timing, 
but also in our, in our body of decay, of loss, of belonging. Chris Burden's performance, White Light, White Heat, um, made in um, 1975, is a, a very interesting example of this kind of work because he stayed in that um, corner, up in that uh, little, um, not, not so little, but shelf, uh, and he hid there for 22 days straight without eating, seeing, or talking, or drinking anything, anybody, and anyone. Uh, and his audience came in and faced with just white, empty walls, and sometimes uh, if they noticed uh, the, the corner, they sometimes noticed the corner, but they didn't see Chris Burden or his performance. And by the time his performance was over, he was like almost as white as the gallery walls because he was losing his um, abilities, uh, life was very slowly and persistently. So in that sense, bringing the life and the death in a, in, a, in a stage, in, a, in an environment where the performance artist tries to uh, display or show is a major, uh, a major issue in that regard. And there are, of course, uh, several many uh, artists that I'd like to talk, but I'd like to presentation or performance of Greece, for instance, happens. And when the economic meltdown in Greece, for instance, 
happiness. We celebrate that we're still not in the EU. We celebrate that we're still not in the EU. Or, or do you know what happened to or Rehan? Know what happened Who knows to what happened to Rehan? Who knows where Rehan is? Ideologies. ideologies. We know nothing about ideologies. We know nothing about ideologies. Sexual violence. Sexual violence. What does it even mean? What does it even mean? In peacetime, time and more time it continues and more time it continues and more think time. about rape and 20 think about rape and 20 think about rape. children who were raped in a single children country who were raped in a single country. they're just 12 years old or 15 they're just 12 years old it's peace time it's peacetime, and people still live in Afghanistan, and people still live in Afghanistan. And Rwanda is not a film of fiction, it's really happened. And Rwanda is not a film of fiction, it's really happened. Rwanda is not a film of fiction, it's really happened. The conflict in Kosovo conflict in Kosovo. And extremism. Extremism. And extremism. Extremism. Sucker games. People are killed after sucker games. Sports as a site. 
to resolve the conflict as a site becomes the avenue the of the conflict itself. Becomes the avenue of the conflict. Middle East, the Middle East, Middle East, as if the Middle, the Middle East is one big country, as if and Baghdad the East is, one is big the country. capital of it, and Baghdad.